my name is Andy Tavikram, and I'm the brewmaster and co-founder at the Market Garden Brewery here in Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, I'm Pat Daniels. I'm the uh, director of brewing operations here at Market Garden. My history in beer started in this neighborhood, so I feel a real deep attachment to this neighborhood. It's a great place to be, and I've seen the potential for quite a long time now. We started 11 years ago over that way, across the parking lot with a brew pub. 2015, we started building out our production brewery right here. We're focused on beer styles with a classic interpretation, if you will. German style lagers, wheat beers, West Coast IPAs, hazy IPAs. We always aim to produce high quality beer. We like to utilize the technology that's out there to the best of our advantage. Technology and quality oftentimes come hand in hand. Alpha Laval's focus is also on quality as well as technology, and so that became a very good partnership for us. Our aims are aligned. When we were thinking about a separator, we we'd had a couple things in mind that we wanted. One was a fully hermetic machine, so we wanted to minimize oxygen pickup. Quite frankly, you know, when Alpha Laval came up and said, well, we, we get zero parts per billion of oxygen pickup across this machine. And I thought, yeah, bullshit, you know, I want to see that. Well, that's what we saw was no oxygen pickup. I was a little bit flabbergasted because I've just never had a piece of beer processing equipment that would do that. Another thing for me was flexibility, a really good turndown ratio. You can run this machine really slow if you want to. No water to deal with, like a hydrohermetic seal. The hydrohermetic designs that I've seen, you can maybe turn it down about 50% and then bad things start happening. You start sucking in air and, and water into your beer. Just the ability to, to ramp it up and down as our process dictates, I think is kind of another a big thing. One of our major criteria when we we're selecting the separator was this bottom feed design. It's really kind of intriguing to me because it's nice and gentle and it follows a kind of a natural path. You know, you come in the bottom, you go out the top, uh, very low shear. It's just much simpler and much more effective. Our losses before we added the separator uh, were kind of all over the map, but especially our IPAs, we were just, we were getting kicked in the behind. Uh, 25, 28% losses, you know. Pretty expensive when you're throwing a lot of hops into that beer and then you're losing that much. Watching our yields move from the 20s to the single digits on some of the brands was, was uh, it pays for itself. Well, when we brought in the Brew 250, one of my biggest surprises was the range of different beers that we could move through it, from wanting to maintain some haze in a hazy IPA to brilliantly clear lagers. So the ability to dial that in was a huge surprise. So one of the main surprises was really how quiet it is. It sits right in our cellar amongst all the fermentation tanks. You really don't even need to wear earplugs. It's that quiet. I mean, it's kind of impressive. It just seems like a very simple, elegant design, and I really like that. Simple engineering is usually the best. Alpha Laval is good to work with. The startup, they sent a really good technician out here, very knowledgeable, uh, very helpful, uh, willing to just talk every step of what they're doing you know, through the process with us. Well, the support staff has been great, but to be honest, we don't find ourselves needing them. It's a high quality piece of equipment, it's well engineered, the tech support's really good. Those are all the things that matter to me as a brewer. I want to keep the brewery going and operating efficiently. Yeah, for us, quality is obviously top factor. So working with a supplier that is so quality driven above everything else is just, it's, it's, it's worry free and something we take pride in. Top down, the Brew 250 just matches the quality and our expectations in our beer. So from the onboarding process to the training, it has, it has been uh, well executed and the machine continues to uh, give us consistent, high quality results.